Hi, this is Sahana. Today we are going to discuss an overview of object-oriented programming with C Sharp. Object-oriented programming is a powerful paradigm used in software development to model and organize code around real-world entities and their interactions. C Sharp supports object-oriented principles. Thus, we call it as object-oriented programming language. At the core of object-oriented programming in c -sharp are the concepts of classes and objects. A class serves as a blueprint or template for creating objects and it defines the structure and behavior of objects. An object is an instance of a class. It represents a real-world entity and encapsulates data and behavior. If we take an example of banking system, there will be a bank and bank will have customers and customers will have account. In object-oriented programming, we create classes to represent these components. This is simple control application. If we take same example, there are three components in our application. One is bank, second one is customer, and we have account. As we have discussed earlier, in object-oriented application, we create classes to represent each of these components. I will add new folder, right click, add new folder. I will name it as classes. Creating this folder is optional, but I prefer it this way. Now I will add a class to represent bank class. I will name it as bank. Same way I will add one more class. This will represent customer. One more class to represent account. We can use C sharp properties to describe these components. I can add properties to describe this account. Let's open customer and add few properties. Now I will add list of customers to this bank. This way in object oriented programming, we use class to represent real world entities. If I want to use this class, then I create instance of this class and we call it as object. I'll open program.cs file. And if I want to use bank, then I create instance of a bank. We call this as object. Next, we can create customer and we can add it to bank. In our upcoming sessions, we are going to learn object-oriented concepts in detail. This is just an introduction to object and class. Object-oriented programming is based on few important principles. They are classes and objects. Then comes encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism, abstraction. We are going to cover each of these concepts in separate sessions. Object-oriented programming offers several benefits like modularity. It organizes the code into reusable and self-contained modules. We call it as class and this simplifies maintenance and allows for easier code reuse, reducing redundancy and improving code efficiency. Next is reusability. Object-oriented programming allows us to create classes and objects that can be reused in various parts of the application or in different projects. And inheritance enables the creation of new classes that inherit attributes and behaviors from existing classes. This promotes code reuse. Next advantage is security. Object-oriented programming has concept called as encapsulation, which restricts access to certain components of an object, thus enhances security. And it has one more concept called abstraction, which hides unnecessary details. This simplifies complex systems and makes them more secure. Next advantage is extensibility. Object-oriented programming has a concept called as polymorphism, which provides flexibility in code design, allowing for extensibility and dynamic behavior. Next is parallel development. Object-oriented programming facilitates parallel development as different teams or developers can work on different classes or objects simultaneously without significant conflicts. Being a developer, we should have strong understanding of object-oriented programming and intention of this series is to help you to get good grip of object-oriented programming. That's it for today's session. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.